Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm the blood bank coordinator here at Dove Lewis, and today we're going to take a donation from Aegis here. Um, so today we are going to be collecting whole blood using a system that is closed and already has an anticoagulant in it. Um, Aegis is going to lay on his side in lateral recumbency with his legs towards me. I'm going to take the donation from his jugular vein today. He has already been examined by a doctor, and we have checked his packed um, red blood cells to make sure that he is healthy enough to donate today. So once we get the clearance for that, we're good to go. So we're going to lay him on his side. Good boy. Okay, and then um, a restrainer, Megan here, is going to just pull his front legs back and extend his neck. Um, I am going to use clippers to shave his jugular area. All right, I'm going to just hold down here and then palpate his jugular vein. Kind of spread the hair out. All right, and then I'm going to use a Clorohex and alcohol um, combination to scrub the area. I'm just going to start by getting some of this hair out of the way. Okay, and then our system already has a clamp on it. We don't want to expose our sample to any room air, so it's important to have a clamp on there before we um, put the needle in. We're going to describe another time or two. And then once we're ready and you know your clamp is secure, you can go ahead and take the needle off. All right, we're going to use this bevel up. Good boy. Palpate the vein once more and then uh, go at a 45 degree angle. Introduce the needle to the vein. Okay. And then once you think that you're in, you can remove the clamp. And if you're in, the blood should flow nice and freely. We currently are using a rocking scale that's mixing our blood with the anticoagulant. Uh, you want to watch the scale rise in number so that you know that your blood is still flowing. Um, a typical donation can take about five to ten minutes depending on the dog and their blood pressure as well as their pack cell volume. And you should watch your scale rise. It should be um, rising anywhere from one to three um, grams per second. All right, when you're done with the donation, before you pull your needle out, you want to clamp the line, again, to keep it a closed system. Apply some clean gauze before you pull out and have your assistant hold off there. All right, so once we are done, we are just going to apply a light pressure wrap to this area, keeping the gauze in place. And we'll leave this in place for about 15 to 20 minutes. That'll just help with the bruising. You did it, kid. Good job, Aegis. All right, now we are going to reward Aegis with some baby food, and he gets to pick out a toy. Um, and that will just kind of help him recover and make this a happy experience for him. At Dove Lewis, um, our donors can start donating between one and six years old, and they can donate until they're nine. They have to be over 55 pounds to donate, um, and that's just because we take a certain percentage of their blood because of the bags that we use. Um, they have to have a good personality. Obviously, Aegis is not um, upset about being here or doing this. He laid still for us for his donation with no problems. They have to be healthy, up to date on their vaccines and everything. And then they can donate up to every two months. Um, we try to get them in at pretty much the eight to 12 week mark um, routinely for donations. All right, so now that we've finished our donation with Aegis, I'm just going to talk about what we used for collection. Um, we use bags that come with anticoagulant already in it. That keeps it a closed system, so we don't have to add anticoagulant to the bag beforehand and um, open up the line to potential room air. Um, there's 63 mils of the anticoagulant in here, and these bags are made to collect 450 mils of blood, um, plus or minus 10%. So truly, you want your donation to be at least 410 mils and up to 500 mils. Um, today, we collected exactly 450 mils from Aegis, which is great. These bags also come with an additive solution. Um, again, already in um, the 
bag, keeping it a closed system. Once we process this and split the unit, we will add the anticoagulant to the red blood cells and that will keep them good for longer. You can see that in our blood processing video.